little while ago, um, the last video I did, I showed you how we uh, sometimes need stuff that we can't buy off the shelf, and we have to use tools to, uh, to make it. There are some things that we work on where even hand tools aren't good enough, and we do need um, a bit of help, if you like. So what we did was buy a 3D printer. Um, this was recommended to us by a friend of Ashley's. Uh, it's a print bot metal simple. Uh, metal simple. Um, it comes either constructed, pre-constructed like this one, or you can get the parts and put it together yourself. Um, I happen to be working on um, a nano bubbler at the moment to um, put oxygen into water, and some of the angles and sizes I work on to produce that head is way beyond the capabilities of just hand tools. So hopefully I'll be able to create my head with this and I'll just show you how I, how I set it up. So I know there's a lot of 3D printers that follow our uh, YouTube channel. Um, I'm quite new to it, to be honest. So with most of the machines, they do do a PDF you can download with setting up instructions saves you dashing between your computer screen and the machine. Um, and the first thing we need to do, when the machine is off, the X and Y axis you can move manually. And the first thing I need to do is cover the plate, cover the bed, with some painter's tape. This is actually frog tape, but it's, it's probably under all sorts of different uh, names. So I'll go ahead and do that. This gives it a nice clean bed to print on, and also, if you try to print directly onto this metal plate, it's probably gonna stick there forever, so it's got a nice surface so you can take your print off afterwards. If you're not too careful when you're getting overlaps, they will come out, but only on the underside of your printer, or of the, um, whatever you're printing, I should say. down, make sure they're out of the way. Okay, so that's my print bed ready to go. Now on to the next stage. So I know there's a lot of different tapes out there. Some people use different uh, different types of tape. Some people use Kapton, whatever your preference is really. But I've just gone with this uh, painter's tape. And our setup is we've got the 3D printer here. We've got a, a small cube computer that's running it. It's not connected to the internet. We wanted to keep that away from the internet. And I'm using the program that they suggest we use to actually do the printing from. And it's called Cura. This, this version is Cura 15.04. Okay, so the printer is now plugged in. The only way you'll know it's plugged in actually on this one is that there's a, uh, there's a blue light on the power pack itself. If that's shining, you know it's plugged in. We've got a USB cable leading into the computer. The only other cable that goes in is this power cable. And what I've done just to um, set it up initially is I've got a, a small, it's a camera quick, quick release actually, but it's got two spirit levels there and I've just made sure that my desk or board is keeping that plate roughly level. It does do its own uh, levelling at a later time. Um, now all we need to do is put in the filament. Now they suggest that you sort of bend it out a little bit that way. Um, so when it goes through the hole in the top here, you know it's going to go in vertically. So we find the hole at the top. We compress this little switch here. That opens up the gears that hold the actual filament. And we feed it into the hole through the gears or the pulleys 
and then into the uh, heat head hole if you like. Push it right down and that's that part done. So now back to the Cura program and in this program they've got a couple of little um, things you can play with. This is a robot. It's already uh, coded into the, uh, the software. So I'm going to print that off. So we'll just hit print. And then you're faced with this uh, panel here. And this is where we're going to do our... The X and Y axis, the vertical and horizontal, is more or less okay, but you do have to watch the ZX axis and you need to set that up correctly. Um, if, you don't, if you don't do it correctly, the head can go straight into the plate and make a nasty mess. So it's just got to be just enough off the top of the plate to do a good print. Um, we're going to set the temperature firstly. They suggest at 210, that's degrees Celsius. And then we we'll tab out of that. And then we go into this command box here. And we need to enter the following code. I don't know if this is the same for every printer. But on this one, they're saying that. So it's M212Z negative 02. Now, when I first did this, I put negative 2 and it scratched my face. So make sure you follow their instructions exactly. I'm an idiot. You won't be. Uh, so the Z axis now is 0.2 millimeters, or it should be off the bed. We need to enter that into the code, and then we need to enter a couple of codes. One M500 return, and that saves a new value. And then we put M501 return, and then we come up. And we can see here, see the Z total there? That should be actually 0.2. Now, I think I've just put 0.2 in, so I don't know if that's a, a problem with the software or it's me not doing it correctly again. So I'll enter it all again. So that's M212 space Z negative 0.2. I think it's probably me, actually. And then enter the other two codes, which is... M500 return, M501 return, and it's still coming up at point 0.2. So in actual fact, uh, looking back at the uh, PDF I printed off, it does actually say the setting should now read X25, Y0, Z, 0.2. So what I did on my screen is actually now correct. So at the bottom we've got M212 X25 Y0 Z 0.2. So we're ready to print. Okay, so all the coordinates are in coordinates are in now. So what we'll do, we'll just press print. There's usually a little while before it sends the signal over to the printer and then it should start up a little setup routine. to the middle. Close to the board, you get what's happening here, and it starts 
balling up the, uh, the plastic, the PLA. If it's too far away, then you get a totally different problem, which is uh, a, quite a bad definition on the print. But I'll let this run and see how it goes and show you the finished article. That's basically how you set up a printer. So there we are, that's the first print done. Let's see how easy that comes off the bed now with the painter's tape. It can come off. <laughs> oh, is that it? You've done the complete the first print. And there we are. So that's the first print from the printer. Still needs a bit of adjusting. There's still a bit of um, overlapping and smudging, as they call it. But I think that's not bad for the first game. So there we go. I'm certainly no expert 3D printer. I'm sure a lot of you out there are. Um, but that's the finished article. It was a quite a, an easy setup, actually, providing you stick to the, the right coordinates and you don't punch in a stupid number like I did, then it should be A-OK. -okay. So now the next stage is I'm going to, to design my nano bubbler head and see if I can print it on the 3D printer and that'll save an awful lot of trouble. Thanks for watching.